In this video, I am going to tell you the top 10 noob mistakes you might be doing. And I will also tell you how to fix it. Number 1. Jungling comfortably. People usually jungle comfortably making you drop your guard down. And because of it, people usually mess up your farming. Always remember that enemies might try to steal your buff in the early or at least delay your farming. At this moment, I will position myself where I can block the bush near the turtle spawn area, so I can block the enemy's flame shot if they are ever trying to do it. This is what people usually forget to do and tend to lose their buff. This is an example what would happen if you successfully block the enemy's flame shot. And always be cautious about your position, because enemies can still steal your buff. Number 2. Going direct to your lane. Going direct to your lane is not bad at all, but it will put you in a disadvantage situation. Enemies will have a better chance of invading your team's red buff, and your enemy in your lane also have a probability of cutting the lane. Cutting the lane will give your enemy the time and freedom to roam in the map, putting your team in a disadvantageous situation. So just by going straight to your lane, you are already giving your enemy an advantage. What you should do is, Scout the area around red buff first, so you will be able to prevent the enemies from invading if they will ever try to. If you can set a trap, then that would be better so you can give your team a vision around your buff. And then I go around this bush, so I can prevent my enemy from cutting off my lane. You don't have to scout the red first if your team will take the red first. Number 3. Forcing to play the meta heroes. Using meta heroes will surely give you an advantage, but if you do not know how to use it, then don't use it, or else, you will just literally feed the enemy. Don't force to play the heroes you cannot use. Even meta heroes have an insane power, it will be useless if you don't know how to use them. Number 4. You are not adjusting in picking, especially in solo. Adjusting your role is extremely important. Because, if you do not adjust your role, and end it up with the same role, then that will extremely lessen your chance of winning. Example, if you ended up with the 3 marksman and 2 mage, what would happen then? Instead, this is what you should do. Ask your team what role they are taking, so you can adjust your role. Believe me, I won so many games just by adjusting my role, even though I did bad most of my games. Always remember, a better lineup will increase your chance of winning. Number 5. Giving up so easily. We all have matches that we do really badly, a match that seems impossible to win, and so your team started to give up, and some players started to blame you and other players as well. What would you do in this kind of situation? Here's what you should do. Try to calm down and encourage your team. This will prevent your team from getting toxic with each other. Apologize for your poor performance because this will calm your team and do a better performance. Remember that, as long as your base is not destroyed, there is always hope, so you must strive for it and try to make a comeback little by little. I actually have many matches that we were able to make a comeback because we chose not to give up. And as you keep moving on, no matter how hard it is, you will soon be able to make a win streak even just by playing solo, duo, trio, or even five man. Number 6. Banning the hero you are afraid of. We all have been to some point that we always face a very strong enemy, that we ended up banning their hero in the next game. But that is actually wrong. Banning the hero you are afraid of will just give your enemy a chance to use the meta heroes that are not banned. Especially nowadays that there are more than 6 meta heroes. So if you waste your banning heroes you are afraid of, you are only giving your enemy a chance to pick the meta heroes. Especially if your team is the first pick, it means the enemy will be able to pick two meta heroes. What you should do is that you ban the enemy heroes, and you can just have more experience facing the hero you are afraid of. You can even try to research about how to counter the hero you are afraid of. Number 7. You are using your chat box more than your minimap. People tend to blame their teammates whenever they die, because enemies are roaming in your area. And their mistakes are that they are using their chat box more than their minimap. Because if you are always using your map, then the enemy will have a hard time killing you in surprise. What you should do is that, you have to start looking at the map as often as you can, so you will be able to predict your enemy's actions. 
but by continuously doing this, you will be able to do it without noticing, because you will get used to it, and will automatically do it. And as time goes by, you will improve your gameplay gradually. Number 8. You are using Pro Build blindly. I have seen a lot of players who are using random builds they found at Pro Builds. This is okay, but not really that good. Remember that, just because that build is good for them, means it is also good for you. We all play differently, so you have to build your items based on your playstyle. You can see here that the top 10 global ruby players use different builds. Because they all have different playstyles, you also need to know the effect of each item, so you will be able to adjust your build based on your enemy and team's lineup. I also have seen a lot of players choosing one build in pro build that they want to use, and ended up using it no matter what it takes, that is wrong, because you have to adjust your build based on your enemies. Don't just blindly build the pro build you found. Number 9. You are not reading the patch note. I have seen a lot of players who are banning the past meta heroes. That is one of many results of not reading the patch notes. You see, reading the patch notes will give you an idea of whose hero that got buffed, nerfed, and adjusted. This is also applicable to items and more. This is the reason you always have to read the patch note, because depending on the changes, you might have to change your items, picking heroes and lineup as well. Number 10. You are only playing. I have seen a lot of players who are only playing again and again. This is actually okay, but if you really want to improve your gameplay, then you have to start doing some research. People who usually get fed are those people who are not researching some tips and tricks about the game, heroes, items, and more. Remember that those who have knowledge will always have the advantage. So if you have a friend who's only playing, then this is your time to share this video to him or her. If this video helps you then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.